come on, because our job is to fight in the spirit. To the extent that we don't fight in the spirit is the, the level that we have to fight in the natural. But when we fight in the spirit, it begins to take out the, the battle in the natural. The, there's a general, and I wish that I, I wrote down his name, before the Iraq war who made this statement. He said, we Americans must be careful that we don't love peace more than we love freedom. And if ever there was a time that this needs to be emblazoned on our hearts, we need to understand that there's no peace with the devil. I'm not calling anybody the devil. But I'm saying the devil has a plan right now, and we do not make peace with him. Okay? We got to love freedom more than we love peace. So here's a few things you can put, put up the next screen. Here's a few things we can do that I think are just going to help you lift in prayer, especially since people are very isolated right now. But here's some things you can actually do. You can jump on daily communion with us on the Vision Church CI Facebook page, 7 o'clock every single day of the week, except Sundays we do it Sunday morning. Okay? Um, you can pray in the Spirit with Tom and Faye Velez from 8.30 to 9.30 um, on on our Facebook page as well. Just jump on there and pray in tongues with us from 8.30 to 9.30. Uh, Sunday morning prayer at 9 o'clock is always, always anointed and powerful. And if you want to jump on with Dutch Sheets, who is really leading the, 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 the charge for prayer for the nation, you can download the Give Him 15 app and pray along. He gives you prayers. He gives you uh, declarations. Uh, he, and, and gets the whole country corporately unified about what we're asking the Lord for. So we're going to lift through prayer. How many feel the challenge to lift through prayer? Amen. Through prayer and through worship. Number two, we're going to shift through prophecy and declarations. Now, Bishop Hammond gave you this word this morning, but I wanted to put it up on the screen so that some of you could take a picture of it. Because when you struggle with issues in your health, I want you to start declaring this. We got to remember to open our mouth and verbally begin to declare the word of the Lord. Not just meditate on it. That's part of it. But we got to open our mouth and we got to say it. Oh, Lord. Why don't you guys say this with me? Oh, Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle and you healed me. You brought me back from the brink of death, from the depths below. Now here I am, alive and well, fully restored. Can we thank the Lord for that and just give the Lord a big amen? Hallelujah. But we got to understand, we declare the word and we've got to understand prophetic revelation, that rhema prophetic revelation is also what we need to be speaking. Amen. Because listen, guys, one word from God changes everything. Come on. When God speaks a word to you, it changes everything. Come on, how, how many have ever been through something you know God has spoken to you and it seems like there's absolutely nothing in the natural that cosigns? Nothing in the natural that agrees with what God said. And yet when you've believed God, you've seen what God said come to pass. We've got to believe God above our circumstances, amen? And we've got to learn how to open our mouth and make decrees. Now here's a couple of key scriptures for this year. Second Chronicles 20, 20. For the year 2020, okay? Believe the Lord and you will be established. We got to put our trust in him. Believe the Lord and you'll be established. Believe the prophets. Believe the prophetic voice. Believe God as he speaks to you in dreams and visions and in the still small voice. Believe the voice of God and you will prosper. You know what that word prosper means? It doesn't just mean to get rich. It means you will break out, you will break through, you will advance, you will move forward, you will become profitable, you will become prosperous, you will become a success. How many believe that God is saying, if we'll listen to the voice of God, all those things can break open for us in the year 2020 and leading us into 2021. I'm telling you, it's not over, but we got to engage, all right? Job 22, 28, you shall decree a thing. And it shall be established for you. Not your pastors, not a prophet, not bishop. You shall decree a thing. And it shall be established for you. So light will shine on your way. Do you want some light to shine on your way? 
then we got to open our mouth and make some decrees. Write them down. We're, matter of fact, stand up. We're going we're gonna to decree something together right now. Listen, the word is so full of people that got prophecies and then had to go through a process to see it come to pass. Don't give up on the prophetic word. Don't give up on what God said to you. Don't give up on what God said to our nation. We've got to contend. Abraham was given a word, and it took 25 years before he had that baby. I want to point out, he was 100 years old. But I want to point out to a greater level, Sarah was 90. Not a blessing I'm asking for. But how many know God made sure that they were going to know absolutely positively that they didn't do this on their own. When we align with God, God rises up and fights for us. I want you to decree this with me. This is page one, part one of our decree that we're going to speak over ourselves. So just lift up your hands and we're going to decree this together. I decree in Jesus' name that things are tipping in my favor. God is turning my valley of trouble into a door of hope. He is turning every curse to a blessing for me because he loves me. He is taking me out of survival into revival and causing my setbacks to become setups for mighty comebacks. I am living in the reset, breaking out of old cycles and into my season of promise. Page two, God will give me strength and wisdom to turn the battle at the gate. I am a fighter and I will not give up. Because Christ has overcome all things, I am an overcomer. Therefore, no weapon formed against me can possibly prosper because the greater one lives in me, speaks to me, leads me, and empowers me. I will believe the prophets and I will prosper. This is my year of satisfied dreams, Holy Spirit power, and fulfilled prophecies. This is my super bloom year. If you agree with that, clap your hands and give the Lord a shout. Amen? Woo! All right, now we're going to make a decree over our nation. Pretty much same decree, but it's a little bit different. So let's look at this. A, a decree for our nations. Decree this with me. I decree over America in Jesus' name that things are tipping in our favor. God is turning our valley of trouble into a door of hope. He is turning every curse to a blessing for us because he loves America. He is taking us out of survival into massive revival and awakening and causing our setbacks to become setups for mighty comebacks. America is living in divine reset, breaking out of old cycles and into our season of covenant promise. God will give the ecclesia strength and wisdom to turn the battle at the gate for we are fighters and will not give up. Because Christ has overcome all things, the ecclesia will prevail. And no weapon formed against us can possibly prosper. Because the greater one lives in us, speaks to us, leads us, and empowers us. We believe the prophets and America will prosper in righteousness, in truth, and in justice. This is America's tipping point year of satisfied dreams, Holy Spirit power, and fulfilled prophecies. This is our super bloom year. America shall be saved. Can we clap our hands and thank the Lord for that? Amen? Amen. You can be seated for just another moment. And I just, I wanted to, I wanted you guys to have those because I really feel like we've got to, we've got to up our game in making decrees, saying what God says. What, you say, well, what do I decree? S decree the word and say what God says. It's that simple. Decree the word and say what God says. All right. So we've lifted, we've shifted, and now we're pushing. How do we push? We push through prophetic acts. It may be a prayer assignment. It may be a seed that you sow. It may be uh, prayer claws. It may be anointing with oil. It may be laying on hands. What is a prophetic act? It's something that we do by faith, in obedience, and as an example. 
with a goal of appropriating and releasing what Jesus purchased for us through, the death, through his death on the cross. Amen? Listen, when we anoint you with oil, it's not magic oil. Stop thinking like that. <laughs> it's a prophetic act where we're coming into agreement with what God said, and it becomes anointing oil.